Have you ever wondered how to add a logo or an image or something like that at the beginning of your Kobo toolbox form or at the beginning of a section, which just lets people know, you know, here, here's a bit of information or here's a picture or, or um, you want to kind of show them something in an image or visual format. So in this video, what I'm gonna do is actually show you how to do that. We're gonna be using the note question type to add images, although you can use lots of different types of questions uh, to add in images. So I'm gonna jump right into Canva. Canva is where I like to create my basic um, images. So if I tap on create a design, I'm gonna put a custom size and I'm gonna use 1000 by 1000 pixels. And then I just want to add in a heading. So I've just added a heading. Then I want to have maybe my logo. Okay, I've put my logo in there. Then I wanna have some sort of image that lets people know uh, this is the training activity report. To get an image, I like to use uh, a software called Flat Icon or Flat Icon. Um, and all you want to do is tap in training. And you can see that some images are for premium users and those just have a little uh, crown on there. And then other ones are totally free. Um, they've got loads. Here's a free one. Let's use that. Also, this is a totally free program. So uh, just do that. But if you do have a premium program, you could say, okay, actually I want that uh, to be this different color here. Okay, so you can then customize all of the pictures in that image. Um, you can save it to a collection and then you can download it. So we're gonna download it as a PNG. Okay, so in Canva, I'm then going to upload that image. Okay, so I've now uploaded that image. I'm gonna pop that over there. I'm gonna center it right there. I'm gonna make my logo a little bit smaller here. Just put this towards the bottom. And once I'm happy with that, um, I'm just gonna tap this and say duplicate. Now, a lot of you work in two languages. So what I like to do is actually then translate this. So I'm gonna grab then the second language. I'm going to pop that in there. And then I actually have two images, one that's in English, one that's in French. Um, you can do, I mean, whatever language you speak or whatever language um, you create your forms in, you could actually create, you know, three or four or five or how many, however many languages you want your form to be in. Um, if you don't use any text, then you don't need to translate uh, the image, but this is very helpful. So now once I'm done, I'm quite happy with those as images, I'm just going to download. I'm gonna download as, you can either download as a PNG or JPEG. I'm gonna do a, a JPEG um, and I'm gonna download everything. Once it's downloaded, you can open that up. It downloads it as a zip file. So we will just save those. Okay, so I've saved those in this file. You can see them here. And all I'm gonna do is, oops, I'm going to rename the English one. I'm going to call it um, uh, uh, Welcome English. And the second one, I'm gonna call uh, welcome French, okay? So then it's quite clear to me that it's my welcoming image and what language it's in. Then in Kobo Toolbox, what I'm gonna do is just create a brand new um, form. Okay, and once you're in your blank um, form builder, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a question and I'm actually going to leave it blank. I'm not gonna put anything in because all I want to show up in my form is the actual image. And what I'm gonna choose is a note and that is it. <laughs> so I'm gonna save that. Okay, so once you have your basically a blank note question, um, I'm gonna get out of that and I'm going to just click on these little three buttons and go to manage translations. I'm going to put that my default language is English and I will set that. And then I'm going to add a language and I have French and French there and I will add that. 
Now I have nothing actually to translate yet because I have no text in that question. But that's fine, you could uh, come back later and do that when you add other questions. So once that's done, what you wanna do is then download your XLS form. And you'll see that this is honestly a very, very simple form. It has almost nothing in it because we're, we've just started a new um, questionnaire from scratch. And you can see that they've kind of added in uh, here. I'm gonna change the name. So this is, I'm gonna call this welcome image under the name. And under the label, I'm gonna delete that. And what I'm gonna do over here then, is I'm gonna copy and paste the label for English, label for French. And in these two columns, okay, instead of label for English and French, we're going to find and replace, okay, label and replace it with media, colon, colon, image, okay? Okay, it's made two replacements. So now you can see what these column names are. Media, image, English, and media, image, French, okay? And then what I'm going to do is put training, uh, sorry, not training, uh, welcome, English, JPEG, okay? So that is the file name of what we just downloaded and saved from Canva. Welcome, French, JPEG. Okay, and then I'm gonna save that and I'm going to replace it in my Kobo toolbox form. Okay, so now it's replaced it. And then what I'm gonna do is deploy it. You have to deploy it for the next thing to be, uh, to work. So once it's deployed, let's go into settings and media, add document, and then you're gonna choose those two files that we just had created. Okay, so I've selected the two images we just created and then I will upload them. Okay, so it has now uploaded welcomeenglish.jpg and welcomefrench.jpg. So now if you go back to your form and you click open, you'll actually see there is now an image in your form training activity report. If we click on French, you can see even the image updates to the French version of the image just because of how we set that up in the XLS form. So in your ODK Collector, Kobo Collect app, we're gonna get blank form, training activity report form. Okay, we're going to get the selected one. We're gonna tap okay. And then we're gonna fill blank form. And there's our training activity report form at the bottom. And you can see that again, what we have is that image that comes up first thing. So you can really have fun with this. You could create like a, a different dimensions. You can create a longer image. So it kind of shows up a little bit differently. Um, but that is how you would do that. Save form and exit. And then we're done. So if we go into fill blank form, we're going to choose that image that or that form that we just created. Even if I change the language to French, then you can see that that updates in ODK Collect as well. So hopefully that's really helpful. Um, I if you like this, if this is helpful to you, give it a big like, um, give the video a like so that it gets shared more with other people who are searching for Kobo Toolbox tips. And uh, yeah, hope to see you soon. If you have any questions or ideas for future videos, drop them in the um, comments below. And again, if you're interested in, well, either Canva or Flaticon, I'll leave those links uh, down below in the description so that you can go and check it out. I um, hope you have a great day. Bye. Yeah.